Asgard, home to the Union of Independent Republic's secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. If Asgard was independent, the UIR had the pleasure of occupying... No, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. Ha! <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the Pendulum Wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. Uh, uh, man, who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one's sure this will work? I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird.
Ah, good, you're here. Grab this module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. What the hell? Show him what you got, Jack. Whoa, you figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So which swarm can we use it against? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front. One more thing, Baird. Once we get this hammer up, we need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on you. Speaking of, uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. This Paddock, how do you know him? We were in a squad together, believe it or not. Also got court-martialed together. We kind of bonded. So you trust him? Well, he threatens to never speak to me again every time I see him. But beyond that, yeah, I trust him with my life. Hey, Baird, what's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just futzing around with its shield generators. Did you hear that Paddock guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Come have a look, Tilda. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then, everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly, they were wearing armor. And they started making these. Take one, if you want. So, you all have been fighting the Swarm alone? Yes. Which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. New weapons, new armor. They're changing.
What did Baird say? A small civil war? Not likely. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert players. You know, only one of us ever seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Zapped and superheated by a lightning flurry. Oh yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. You my friend missed your coffee. here to stop us. Actually... Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened, what I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Bear. Come on then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk that. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? OK, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like, like we didn't even know you. I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him.
man. You can't just say, let's do it, and make the last few months disappear. Del, come on. No, it's okay. Let him get it out. No, 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 see, that's not fair. You're being unreasonable, and I want to stay mad. Then stay mad. Not here to prove anything. Just here to help. As am I. So it appears his decency is rubbing off on me. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machines. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. <laughs> Paddock say they're doing here. Trying to get their work. Fly back online. I think we just discovered the problem! Swarm! So let's get in there and clean them out! Trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira! Koget Koi! Okran Posi Dordini Opsa Fascist! I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Saved one of your engineers at the water tower. She was <laughs> a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. 
All right, if we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. See what's going on with these trucks. I don't get it. Where the hell is it? <sighs> oh, that's not good. Ninu, Neki! The pawn is the carnier! It's new stuck new. In Durma Botoki. Okay, I I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside. Shit. Guys, we got pods. I don't like this. They engage. Come on, let's get inside. Jack, rip that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh yeah, I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come, hunters! Okay, let's see what you got. This must be how they hit the nomad. Pour them in and then take them out. Let's go! 
This'll work! Drop to hostile! Holy shit! Does anyone else need a nap? Later. Let's just get inside and see what we can find. Like the Nomad's comm center. Maybe we want it back for him. Maybe they won't mind if we borrow some supplies. a city ruin. Your people got hit pretty hard here. Ah, uh, one of my scavenger crews, and two others are still missing. If we come across them, we'll try to help. I would very much appreciate that. You can head back in. It's safe now. Thanks.
Okay, we're coming up on the old docks. Let's check out Paddock's drill. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is. Great. This place is crawling with swarm. You don't see us yet. We'll pick a few up quietly. the old docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. Okay. Jack, it's, um, it's all you. Uh, good news, Paddock. Turning on your drill didn't kill us all. Then congratulations. You've almost succeeded in getting our water supply back online. All that's left is to check in on our pump station. If we find the time, yeah, we'll do that. Delta out. Time we got back to the skip. Yeah. All right, Delta. Let's head out. Ah, oh, shit. Just realized. I forgot my sunscreen. There's sunscreen. I burn easily. Never fight with a sunburn. It's not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'll radio back to command. Maybe they can arrange for an airdrop or something. See, you kid. But that would actually be very helpful. bad one. Okay, there's our way in. Yaya Dortmir, Yaya Kakapsa! Popa! Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? Wah, wah, hug! Estanusanui, and Faust and Ceiling Pong. Robot, Obuki, 
Profunk Bobby. Robot, the bookies. Wait, Robot. I, I think he needs Jack's help. Ota, Ota! Robot the bookies. Robot the bookies. Let's go! Incoming Juvie! Let's keep him back! Jack, shot trap! The moves! It's the moves that does me! Ugly little dick! got his water supply back online. Well, look who it is. Hey, the schnook the lock soap. I don't see no port. Gets out the money that he me will say, okay? I reckon she wants you to take that. Huh. Koibo, Fantoni, Miss. Wow. There's a lady here wired up a surge protector to her cloaking device. That's clever. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay, for Nur Ninin. Has no spot funny and. Back to the skiff? Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp.
Inside. Oh shit! More of them coming from the main building! Robert, keep it back! tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations, because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. <sighs> Let's get inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place looks huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, hey, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Baird. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack, pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. Ooh, that's some nasty malware. Adaptive, semi-sentient. Don't worry, Jack's got this. R right, buddy? Huh. No virus can stop Jack. Huh, data's coming in. Paddock, I assume you can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. 
Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Buzz, you're Basgari. Did you have read those files? Nah. I was born in New Ephira. My parents wouldn't even speak Vescari when they were not. They would have seen it different. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. Bring that, uh, platformy thing this way. It's called a gantry? Is it then? Jack, bring it over. Mm -hmm. Finally, something I can try. Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, Foss. Take us across. With pleasure. One thing, children. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility and tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. This way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddock, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Huh. Oh, shit. Swarm Yeah. 
Let's get a move on. Paddock, Baird. Ran into some swarm, but we're back on track. Also, Paddock, Cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? <laughs> Help me with this before Paddock starts talking again. I heard that. Oh, oh, oh. More of them. How are we handling this one? Jack, shot drop. About bloody time! Oh, now that was some right bullshit! Last one. So, let's keep looking for those satellites.
Okay, they're down. Again. Man, look at this. Must have been quite a fight. It was. Paddock, you fought to launch the hammer yourself. But now you're saying it's a mistake. What gives? You launch, you buy us some time. But eventually they'll win. You must know this. No, I don't. Jack, fetch! <laughs> Jack, rip doors mm -hmm. welded shut. Then that's the door you want. Oh shit. Here we go. Alright, let's get set up. They're coming. Certainly. A handful. And enough of those. Jack got the door open. Good job. <laughs> Just realized if my parents hadn't have left Vascar, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Hmm. You, Vascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, should be through here. Grab the other side. Gotcha, we found the nose cone. Man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Which plat 
platform should we hit first? Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Uh, having a problem, pal? No, just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the Hammer of Dawn. <laughs> Uzi to judge. He tried to launch it himself. Okay, let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. Maybe it just needs a nudge. Pretty on the nose cone. One down. Then let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right, on it. Okay, let's go. Brace yourselves. This might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching these satellites? Oh shit! Worm on the other platform! Sitting ducks down here! Boss, get us higher! On it! Oh shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that! Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! Don't get off! 
so we can connect the satellite. Let's get this done. like the other one. burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Okay, let's get up there. 
Okay, so what a pad of Launching these satellites is a bad idea. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me, a world on fire is better than the world they want. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. God damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting the hang of driving it. Need a hand here. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There, let's keep up with it. Watch it, below us. We threw over here. There it is. Let's keep up. Paddock, Baird. We're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now. Good. We're still decrypting these old files, but we're making progress. Head out to your skiff. We'll find your rocket soon enough. All right. We're on our way. Jack, we need some light. Come on, once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help. If we want to get out of here, we should cross to the other side.
Head down. Let's keep it moving, Delta. Bloody hell. Does every carrier burst apart like that? Yeah, pretty much. Our way out's above us. Let's get up there. Together would be so difficult. Hmm. Assistant scientists, rocket scientists, and anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? We just push a button, mark to launch? Oh, I see. Yeah, take on the handsome one, cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God.
Right then, shall we skiff back out into the great wide open? Hey, Paddock, you still there? I got a question for you. No, I'm on lunch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stops you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice. And spared a lot of lives. A Goroznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Goroznian proverbs justify war? Eh, most of them. <laughs> Head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't network, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What are you saying? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge, it's old and rusty and... Yeah. Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Pat, how did Baird even know it? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Uh, unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about it either. Why are we stopping? Aren't we supposed to go under the bridge? Yeah, in a minute. Just looking around for anything useful. Well, I'd say we're done here. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. Jockey is new stuff, Stradini. The pawn total. Odoski, Momo, Eon Toslos. The Eon Toslos. Odoski is nothing. As their people be. A four year Eon Toslos, Odot. The human. Kogeki. No, Mirin.
Let's get to that rocket turntable. And we're through. On to the turntable. No, good idea. Maybe not, but this wreck might have supplies. <sighs> Come on, down here. Okay. Okay. Flop the pussy. Oh shit. I gotta flop. All right. Let's pull you down. Shot track. <laughs> Reckon our new friend is had a rough go of it. Paddock, we found one of your people at the old shipwreck. Ah, an entire scavenger crew is supposed to be there. And I have two more crews that are still missing. Okay, if we spot them, we'll do what we can to help. I would appreciate that. All right, let's search this heat before we go. Baird, just found something. Looks like old UIR radio tech. You want it? No, you want it. Find two more and you'll be able to boost Jack's hijack ability. Would have done it myself, but, you know, we were a little short on time. Oh, all right. We'll keep an eye out. We're done here. We should get back on track. Yeah. Delta, back to the skiff. <laughs> Stranded out in the middle of the bloody desert. Siri, all right. And yet somehow, it's not even the weirdest thing I've seen today. Well, when you employ with us, it's uh, definitely a thing.
or sniffing or, or whatever you call it. Baird, there's a downed condor here. Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Solid copy. Watch it, Treeby! Attack us? Oh, we're done with that. That condor went down six months ago, kid. They still think you're enemies of the state. Okay, let's look around for anything useful before we go. Like we cleaned out this wreck. Yeah, we should head back to the skip. And hey, I can't believe Baird's secretly a gun runner. Wait, you're having trouble believing that Baird did something covert? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Rocket train's facing the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Yeah. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now, how do we turn this thing? It started by finding a control. Hey, it's one. Perfect. <laughs> Nice work, Jack. 
turned around. here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the controls. Pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Trains a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skip. The 
bridge has to be lowered first. Can't your people do it? They are not there anymore. Why did you send the train back without lowering the bridge? Because we... we didn't... Oh, forget it. We'll lower it ourselves.
Jack, shot trap! Rock out! One less. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? But for the Hammer of Dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, cosmonaut training facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have it. Okay, we're on it. Anyone else surprised by the size of that rocket? It's massive! Uh, rockets are big. You know the ballistic coefficient you need to accommodate atmospheric drag? Uh, no, I don't. Well, it's high. That's the size. So, what's it like to know so much about stuff no one else cares about? Go ahead and abide in your ignorance, man. Not my problem. Glad we agree. Cheers! Jen's gonna react when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Sound of a tool shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. <laughs> I've heard no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion here. Yeah, thanks for that. 
All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Things in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby's security office. What if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. Paddock, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The center fuse building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the center. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. Hey, out there. That must be the other condor Baird lost. We'll search it if we get the chance. But finding those beacons is our priority. Yeah, agreed. Jack, get this safe open, please. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in it. Well, you fooled it! Look who's here! You got a scion! 
Anna's got a bastard! Run! Put these assholes down! That sounded. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. Oh, hard shot. How advanced was the UIR space program? So, all the exits are blocked, now what? Jack, activate that crane. <laughs> Jack, crane. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Well, let's hope this one holds. All right, Jack, let's do it again. Centrifuge buildings dead ahead. Hang on. <laughs> 
We got a straggler. Shut trap. They're down. Let's get inside. Help me get this open. Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. Shit. Rejects are in here, too. Try the other one. Guys, look. Beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Worth a shot. still works. But it's not slowing down. Oi, fuck! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man! Jack's not a miracle worker! What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls at the base.
The beacons are okay. Come on. <laughs> Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Fira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll uh, carry it to the skiff. <clears throat> well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. Time to get out of here. You know, the paddock's silly folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of this. We've lost enough. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much use in a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You're covered. Okay, let's go. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarm, people! Jack, shot back! Get behind those sandblast things! They're called Bulgarians! Yeah, tomato, tomato! Gotta deal with those turrets!
Yeah, coming. Watch it. Jack, shock track. Get down! And the door's open! Let's get our asses inside! Not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Made of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Foss, Del. When do you get the other side? <laughs> Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. Seeing it injured my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. Well, there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the cog border? That's gory technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Pissed off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, it seems pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. <laughs> the tr trans transitive war? Books, Foz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Something, but the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Hadfield's uh, just ahead. Mark the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. And so we meet again. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move it. Get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. You should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Hey, Baird, can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ephira. Yeah, right, of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Got so close! Let's get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on!
top of us! We're gonna clear this tarmac or Bear's not going anywhere! Come on down to Dermina! Over 
children. More bad news, I'm afraid. What is it now? My people, transporting the other beacons. I need you to get to them immediately. Their convoy was attacked. Where? Close. Their last message was sent from the old city. All right, we're on it. Man, the nomads cannot catch a break. Smoke up ahead. Shit. Yeah, it's a convoy, all right. All right, let's get in there and see what we can do. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. Shot trap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Watch it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Another one of those bloody things. Paddock, mate. You hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry. They'll be well armed. So go. Deal with your rocket. All right. Delta out. All right. We're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. I swear. We have to save these nomad skins one more time. Hey, give them a break. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for that. Sure. But if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. to the hangar. Get that rocket ready for launch.
Rocket's ready for launch, Del. Let's go put it together. Jack, fetch. Another LC circuit here. Nice. Well, that's it. Nothing else here for us. Then let's head out. Sum it up, eight out of ten. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah. Well, I'll take that, yeah. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Oh, the satellites talk to ours. What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy, we can never stand like you ever launched this rocket. And there we are, everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens.
This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! On 
my way! Good one, Jack! those satellites. Come on. Jack, get this thing aligned. All right, we're back in business. Then climb aboard the rocket. You can ride it straight to the launch pad. Alright, 
Thank you. I'm moved by your gratitude, really, I am. But I remind you, I'm hanging from the back of a fucking train. Oh, oh, right, right. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Well, and then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. I 
think it wants us? It wants the rocket! Hatch! That's our way down! Rack up the rocket! It's trying to stop the launch! Then hit it where it counts! Oh, this is bullshit! Fuck! Fuck! Take you out! Strike! 
the tug! So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together, then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, a nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? 
It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, yes, sir. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, yeah, sir. The Swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! Oh, damn it! They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. You can help us end this. <gasps> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vassal. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. First, help me plant this beacon down the street. 